Speaking of old Deshaun Watson, we're going to finish off the uh, Houston Texans with the quarterback there. Finished QB4 last year, threw for 3,852 yards, 26 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, had 82 rushes for 413 yards on the ground and an additional seven touchdowns on the ground. Guys, your thoughts around Deshaun Watson? I have those numbers dipping a little bit due to not having one DeAndre Hopkins. Um, it is going to get piecemealed out a little bit more. I just don't see. Uh, I don't see how those numbers maintain. He's going to have to put up a hell of a rushing, you know, stat line to kind of keep up in that top five. I have him falling to seven. Um, so still, uh, you know, right there, QB one territory. Uh, my biggest thing with Deshaun Watson over the years is he has some weeks that are out of this world. Um, but there's also been some weeks, guys, where Deshaun Watson just lays a freaking egg. And quarterback is one of those positions where I value consistency just as much as running back. Like, I, I want to know... Basically, I can set these points aside and count on them. And I don't have to have, you know, uh, Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray to do that necessarily. You know, you can do that and feel pretty confident with um, uh, Matt Stafford if he's going to be healthy. A Ben Roethlisberger when he's playing at home. You got to be careful about that. His home road splits are, are terrible, but Ben Roethlisberger at home has a high floor. Um, so Deshaun Watson in that upper tier I, I'd, I'd rather have Dak I'd rather have Russell Wilson uh, you know guys who are going around that same area for quarterback I, I have Watson at the bottom of that class so I, I have Watson ranks fifth and we'll, we'll get into our our uh, QB rankings here in a little bit but I mean the last two years he's thrown 26 uh, 26 touchdowns uh, the interceptions were up slightly the concerning things, the yards per attempt was down um, last last year from the previous year. Obviously, I think 2018 was was his best of his three years that he's had so far. Um, played all 16, had over uh, 4,000 yards. I mean, he missed a game last year and was basically on pace for all of that. You know, the, the 2018 numbers. So if he if, you know, a full season out of Deshaun Watson, I think you know what you're going to get. Um, I, I think that you can probably expect, you know, 27, 28 touchdowns. The interceptions will probably be right around 10. You know, the yardage will be right around 4,000. I think that's what you'll probably expect. Now, I don't know, like you, like we talked about, I don't know that it's going to all go towards one guy or one or two guys. But I still think that Deshaun Watson is crafty enough and can keep plays alive long enough that he'll still be able to get his when when the time comes. The big thing is, will he be protected by that offensive line? And even the year that, you know, in, in 2018 when he had his career year, uh, in his young career, he, he led the league in sacks. Like, he got sacked a ton that year. So, like, the sacks have gone down. I think we're seeing him be a little bit, you know, craftier uh, when it comes to, to playing the quarterback spot. But I've got him pretty much at the same numbers, maybe a slight tick up, if anything, um, from last year's numbers, probably closer to 2018s than, than to 2019. But there's not a ton of difference in between there. So to me, you know, he, he's kind of laid down the baseline of what to expect. No, I, I think he'll be pretty consistent to what he's been. Right. Uh, I think he actually probably gets a little bit more efficient this year because when you look at years past, like he tried to force feed uh, Don Ray, DeAndre Hopkins a bunch. Like there was there was not a year where DeAndre Hopkins was less than 150, 160 targets. Just Deshaun Watson force feeding that consistently. I see him potentially spreading the ball out a little bit more with with some of those other receivers, things like that. Like when I was statting this team out, I didn't have anybody even really coming that close to 150 uh, targets there. So the ball's getting spread around more. I think he'll get a little bit more efficient, but I don't think he's going to be a quarterback that outperforms his ADP, right? You look at it, he's typically coming off the board as the sixth quarterback 
um, out there. I don't know that he's going to perform at the six or better this year. I have him slightly back there, and we'll go a little bit deeper into the rankings when we get there. But I had him at, at QB eight finishing this year. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing that scares me about the Texans in general is a Bill O'Brien <laughs> scares the crap out of me, and B th- their schedule is not easy at all. Like they start against the defending Super Bowl champions and then they have the Ravens, Steelers, Vikings. Like that's a pretty brutal first quarter of your season. Um and then you follow it up and then you know you have your Jags game and those games are always tightly contested. It just those two teams for whatever reason they match up well against each other. You typically have one game that's low scoring and one game that's a little bit more high scoring just kind of depending on on where they're playing that given season. Um, the Titans and their defense is still solid. I, I don't see any reason that that defense is going to take a step back under Mike Vrabel. The Packers um, invested a lot of capital in defense last year, so you're going to see these players continue to develop in their secondary. Um, and, and then, you know, the Patriots, the Lions, they still have the Bears uh, on their schedule. The, they just have a lot of teams that – either do a good job in coverage or do a good job getting after the passer. And in some cases, Ravens and Steelers in the first part do both. Like I just, I worry, I worry about Deshaun Watson's health this season due to the fact that like Alex said, he takes so many sacks. Um, That number will eventually creep up and catch him just like it did with Andrew Luck. 